Hello, today we're looking at the properties of the function f of x equals e to the x. And we're looking specifically at its derivatives. So you need to first know differentiation by first principles. That's the first thing you need to know. You may remember that the rate of change is equal to the gradient at a point. And we can find this rate of change using first principles or general rules. Unfortunately, we don't have a general rule for e to the x. So let's investigate this further. If we investigate this function, a to the h minus 1 over h, subbing in different a values between 1 and 3, or 1.5 to 3.5 for the a value, and then also subbing in to each of those functions for the a value, subbing in h is equal to uh, like 0 0.1, 0 0.001, etc. You will discover when you sub in a equal to 2.718, etc., or a equal to the special e number. A very special thing. This here, this function, when you sub in E like that, equals exactly 1. Now, what does that mean? I will show you. Are you ready for me to blow your minds? First principles. You remember first principles? Okay, let's imagine the function is e, e to the x, right? Let's use first principle to find the rate of change, the rate of change of e to the x. So first principles, f x plus h minus f of x over h. All right? So the function with x plus h is what? e to the power of x plus h. The normal function is e to the x, and we have h on the bottom. Now using indice, oh, we're gonna don't forget the limit h to the zero limit h to 0, using indice laws, we're going to break up this because it's approximately first principles. Okay, and now we factorize the top row. And you just told me what this, what did that limit to? One. So, the rate of change of E of X is E of X. To read through those. What about finding the rate of change when we have a coefficient in front of x? Any ideas? From the floor? Chain rule. Perfect. The derivative of y over x is the dy du, the derivative in terms of u, multiplied by the derivative of u in terms of x. So we have to find both of those things, multiply them together to get the derivative of the original function. Does that make sense? So first of all, let's start with the derivative of u in terms of x. What are we going to let u equal to? Mm. 
negative 2x, well done. And the derivative of that is? Perfect. The derivative of dy du, if you sub in that for into the equation, is what? This is the new y, what's dy du? We went through this, e to the power of u is the derivative, exactly the same. It's the same thing, yay, nice and easy. So now we can find the final answer. So tricky, I know. You're very sad. I can hear it. Because I know you love to have a challenge. And don't forget to sub what u is in terms of x back into the original equation. So that's y dash or dy dx or f dash x. Thank <laughs> you.